We have all yes. the Russos in the building, potentially. Yes. Well, yeah. I, there's like 20 more somewhere. This is not quite all of us. Yeah. These are just our female offspring, but not even all of our female offspring. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It's a lot of Russo. It's a lot of Russos. Congratulations on the film. I need to know, though, we can finally talk about Infinity War now. So now I can finally, finally tell you guys, you hurt my feelings. I was very sad. <laughs> but what, what made you guys say, we're going to let our heroes lose in this big way? Well, I mean, we just try to tell the best stories and the stories that interest us and that are compelling to us. And, uh, you know, sometimes heroes lose. And I think, um, uh, you know, this is a, the interesting thing about serialized storytelling is, is that, uh, um, you know, there's always an next chapter to the story. So now we're going to see what happens uh, in Avengers Endgame. Ooh, I can't wait. I know. You made me cry the last film, so I'm bringing tissue this time. I'll be prepared. Right. Bring a, bring a few. <laughs> All right, I just need to know, before you guys go, because everybody wants to talk to you right now, what is the one thing that you want people to feel walking into the theater on opening night? Well, look, you know, we've all, we've all been able to enjoy our favorite stories throughout our lives, and we, we think of this movie as the ending of the story that's been told for the past 10 years, over these past 22 movies now. And, you know, this is the ending, and like, like all of our hopes, you know, you always hope that the ending is the best part of the story. And so I hope people are coming into the movie with those kinds of hopes and expectations, and I hope that we can deliver on that. I cannot wait to see it tonight. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations.